Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Topic number five, job practice. Single V-groove weld, butt joint, vertical fixed position, 2G, 3-inch diameter, schedule 40, steel pipe. Objective, to develop skill to produce quality single V-groove welds on 3-inch, schedule 40, steel pipe in the 2G position. The finished pipe weld should have a flat to slightly convex face with a reinforcement of 1 16th to 1 8th inch. The root reinforcement should be between 1 32nd to 1 16th inch. Material, 3 inch diameter, schedule 40 steel pipe, two nipples per workpiece. Electrode, 1 8th inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten. Filler metal, 1 8th inch diameter E70 S1B. Shielding gas, argon welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8th inch. Nozzle, number six, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Polarity. Direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 90 to 95 for the root pass, and 100 to 110 for the fill and cap passes. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, one to two electrode diameters. To begin this exercise, prepare and tack weld a pipe joint as outlined in topic number four. Clamp the workpiece in the 2G position with the axis of the pipe vertical. To deposit the root pass, position the torch in the joint with a 90 degree work angle and a 15 to 20 degree push travel angle. The torch should be pointed in the direction of travel. Place the filler rod against the root face and angle it towards you 10 degrees. One quarter inch of the end of the rod should be in contact with the beveled edge. The scratch method of starting the arc will be used. Place the torch so that the electrode is centered in the joint. Drop your helmet and slowly swing the handle to the side until the tip of the tungsten lightly touches the joint bevel. As soon as the arc starts, quickly move the torch into welding position. When the puddle forms, move the filler rod to the leading edge of the puddle and move the torch along with a smooth, steady motion, keeping a 1 16th inch arc length. Keep the movements precise and the rate even to ensure proper fusion into the edges of the joint. Hold the filler rod lightly at the puddle's leading edge without dipping. If it is necessary to break the arc before reaching a tack weld, run the arc up the side of the joint without the filler rod. Now this is called cratering out and prevents the formation of cracks in the crater area. Immediately, return the torch to the arc area in order to purge the weld during its solidifying. When approaching a tack weld, gradually increase the filler rod angle and allow the weld metal to fuse completely into the tack. Weld completely around the joint in this manner. The finished root pass should be flat to slightly concave with no undercut at the edges. The root reinforcement should range from 1 32nd to 1 16th inch. If the bead face is highly convex and the penetration is insufficient, then reduce the travel speed slightly or increase the welding current. On the other hand, if the bead reinforcement is excessive, then the travel speed should be increased 
or the current reduced. Before continuing any further, the tungsten electrode should be properly adjusted and maintained. Now this must be done at all times in order to prevent contamination of the weld. If contamination of the electrode occurs, regrind it immediately and adjust it for welding. The remainder of the joint will be completed with two fill passes and then to cap passes. Reset the amperage to a range of 100 to 110 amps. The first fill pass will be deposited along the lower joint bevel. Position the torch 10 degrees above horizontal with the electrode aimed at the lower joint bevel. Use a 5 to 10 degree push travel angle. The filler rod is held at the center of the root pass and angled about 10 degrees back from the work. Deposit this bead with a smooth, steady travel speed. You may find it necessary to use a slight oscillation if the bead becomes too convex. This bead should overlap the root pass by two-thirds to three-quarters. For the second fill pass, the torch is aimed at the upper toe line and the filler rod is angled in a similar manner to the previous pass, except that it is directed towards the upper bevel. The weld is deposited with the same technique as before. Be sure to fuse into the second bead and into the upper joint bevel. The second and third pass together should form a flat to slightly convex face. The fourth and fifth passes are deposited with the same angles and techniques as before. The finished weld should completely fill the joint and form a 1 16th to 1 8th inch face reinforcement. The weld should fuse into both beveled edges with no undercut. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.